Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we have the latest Seattle Seahawks news and rumors as we will catch you up to speed with everything you need to know about your favorite team. But before we do that, folks, we are getting very, very close to 31,000 subscribers on the channel. It seems like just yesterday we were doing a Gatorade bath to celebrate 30,000 subscribers. And I believe, folks, we are going to get to 31,000 this week. But we need your help to get there. You see, we're just a little over 250 subscribers away from doing that. Subscribe now for the latest Seattle Seahawks news and rumors segments each and every day. Our live shows on Wednesdays and our watch parties on every Seattle Seahawks game day. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. Join the family. You'll be glad you did. We begin today talking about Colin Gillespie. And in the case of Colin here, this is a guy that his season is likely over, according to Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll, as he is undergoing knee surgery. He signed this offseason. He's played fullback. He was signed to be a linebacker, played about six games, but mostly was a special teams guy. He converted a punt early in the third quarter this past week, and his right leg buckled on him as he tried to break a tackle. And this was somebody that was signed to the practice squad back on September 28th and then was quickly elevated to Seattle's game day roster against the Lions, played 18 snaps on special teams after registering a tackle in the loss to the New Orleans Saints the following week. Former Texas A&M standout, also a walk-on at Texas A&M, was signed to the 53-man roster and carved out a significant role on kick and punt coverage teams. So although this is not the most high-profile player by any means, it is unfortunate news for a guy that had been working hard to get on the football field that his season is effectively over with. And this is what Pete Carroll had to say. He got whacked. He's going to have to get his knee fixed, and I was just with him in the training room. It's going to be a long haul. He had some pretty good news. It wasn't as bad as they thought initially, so maybe he'll make a comeback. So with that, sounds like his season's over, but at the end of the day, this is not a knock on the guy. Don't take this the wrong way, folks, but this is not the end of the world losing uh, Colin uh, Gillespie here, okay? I mean, this is not something that's going to change things all that much for Seattle because, th realistically, this is a guy that's pretty replaceable. Through six games, had four tackles on special teams. PFF grade was nice, 69.6. And for Seattle, it opens a roster spot to fill. Now, this team can go forward and see what they can find uh, to potentially put in that spot with him gone now. So now you have another open roster spot. What are you going to do? We'll see. But nonetheless, uh, unfortunate to see Colin go down like this. You never want to see anybody's seasons in. We're wishing him the best of luck going forward. Let's show him some love in the comments section. Type 41 for Colin, and uh, hopefully we, be, we see him back on the football field here soon. More Seahawks injury news to get to in just one moment. Before we do, though, today's show is sponsored by Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You can officially include the title lord or lady on your credit card, plane ticket, dating profiles, and more. It makes a great last-minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or lady, we can build our little Seahawks Today kingdom together. Established Titles is actually running a massive early Black Friday sale right now with discounts up to 80%. Plus, if you use 
the promo code chat, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat to get your gifts now and help support us here at Seahawks today. As you saw earlier, I already have mine. You can get yours too. EstablishedTitles.com slash chat. So also on the injury front, Seattle got some good news this week as Pete Carroll said that Daryl Taylor, Marquise Goodwin, and Joey Blunt are all expected to be back at practice this week. So that's good to see for three different positions you're talking about as well. Taylor at linebacker, Goodwin at wide receiver, and Blunt at the safety spot. Now, neither one of the three have been gone that long. We haven't seen Taylor since week seven. Goodwin and Blunt haven't played since week eight. And the the big takeaway here for me that I look at is getting Taylor and Goodwin back. To me, that's what's very uh, exciting here in this regard is that you have Daryl Taylor, who we know could be a really good impact player. And then there's Marquise Goodwin. Although we haven't really seen Marquise Goodwin a whole lot this year, he's shown that he still has a lot of speed and a lot of raw athleticism. And the Seattle Seahawks team right now, their top two receivers are as good as any one-two punch in football, right, with DK and Tyler Lockett. And the tight end room has been really good with Noah Fant, Will Disley, and Kobe Parkinson. And it's been by committee, like depending on the day, whoever has the big game, you know, that night. And last week it was Noah Fant this time around. What we haven't seen from the Seahawks when it comes to their receiving core is a consistent presence, a an established number three guy. Marquise Goodwin has the potential to be that if he can stay healthy on the football field and continue to show that athleticism and raw speed that he has. Bigger impact will it be coming back from injury? Daryl Taylor or will it be Marquise Goodwin? Now's your chance to weigh in and get in the comments section and tell me if it's Daryl Taylor, type DT. If it is Marquise Goodwin, then type MG in the comment section below. Let me know. Little roster update for you on your Seattle Seahawks as Seattle has added running back Godwin Ikebukiwe. Uh I probably butchered that. Ikebukwe. See, I- I'm trying. It's difficult, folks. Bear with me on this. But nonetheless, he's been added to the practice squad. And kind of what you need to know here on Godwin. We'll just call him Godwin here. Uh, Here's the rundown here. Released from the practice squad back in October 25th. So he hasn't been gone that long necessarily. But here's what it does for the Seahawks. Although he goes to the practice squad, he could be a potential emergency depth chart piece. Obviously, he already knows the system that... He's familiar with how this offense works and how it runs. And, look, we've already seen Rashad Penny go down. We've seen Kenneth Walker actually dealt with a hernia injury earlier this year. He could be a piece where if something happens, he's ready for his name to be called upon. And if you look at the depth chart right now, you can see Kenneth Walker, DJ Dallas, Travis Homer, those guys are there. And... You add him to there, if something were to happen, he could slide right in and potentially get playing time. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, how good is he? And that question uh, remains to be seen. His stats and playing time has been kind of limited. As last year with the Detroit Lions, he had just 18 carries for 118 yards, seven catches with uh, 60 receiving yards. And the biggest thing, I think, for Seattle, the biggest positive here is the versatility. He has experience as a kick returner. And not to mention, he can be very flashy as a kick returner. So with that, as as, uh, Godwin tries to find his way on the football field here, his best bet might be if he can get there via special teams and in the return game of some sort. So he'll be a player to watch to see what potentially he could bring to this Seattle Seahawks team. Uh, Somebody will keep tabs on there, but added back to the Seahawks practice squad. Before we go, I want to ask you guys, should Seattle promote Godwin to the active roster? 
If you think they should, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. What do you think? Should he get the opportunity to play with the big dogs on the 53-man roster? If you think he should, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and everything in between at Tyler Jones Live. Talking about your favorite team on those social media platforms, and I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.